One of the substitutions, the most common substitutions that you hear people do is tritone substitutions. So you take a dominant chord and you go a tritone away from that dominant chord and you play that dominant chord. In this instance, we've got that A7. Instead of that A7, we're going to play an E flat as a tritone away. And take note that that E flat 7 is just one semitone above that D7, the dominant chord. So it sounds like this. You'll often see that sequence when we're playing in a minor key. Rather than there being an A half diminished or an A7 there as the two chord, you'll see an E flat 7 instead. Basically a dominant chord, one semitone above the five chord. It's a substitution for the two chord. That E flat 7 sort of is in a way saying A7. You still can just play around with the G harmonic minor scale. As much as that you can't find an E flat 7 in the scale of G harmonic minor, it's sort of there as a sort of passing chord or as a sort of as a substitution for one of the chords that you do find in that scale. So the ear is happy for you to sort of not change scale when you hear that. It's something that you can do and it's something that we'll look at in a bit, but it is absolutely fine to just play the G harmonic minor scale over that E flat 7 as well. Have a little go at doing that. So you're going to play the G harmonic minor scale over the sequence which has that E flat 7. One, two, one, two, three, four. So you can get away with just playing that G harmonic minor scale, but it's important that we learn at least what the notes are in that chord so we can try to outline it in our playing. E flat seven, let's do it. The chord of E flat.